What's up guys, it's Shadowmaster here, bringing you videos, today we're doing Web Deku, Was a Zombie, Part 1. Now, let's get started. Now then. Let me set this timer, and let's go. Now, we're starting off as Zuko Midoriya. Now then, in this timeline, Inko Midoriya is a, mostly an alcoholic. Now, like in Curious Show Universe with the Ultraviolet Lantern Core, in this timeline, she actually does get better. I don't know, I can't remember if she did or she didn't. You guys can come up, comment on below that. So yeah. So yeah, then. Now, let's continue on. Now, before Deku's last day at school exactly, Deku's at his house exactly. He just thinks of killing himself, because what's the point of living if he can't do anything right? His mother's a, well, alcoholic though. His dad's somewhere in the country fucking other women or some more shit. We still making income for us or something, but she's just blowing up all on beer and stuff, paying the rent. Now then, Deku just thinks so he can just jump off the roof exactly or do something. As he just does one thing only, getting one of those beer balls exactly his mother drinks and she's knocked out and just breaks it, stabbing himself in the neck and he's on the ground. Now then, Inka wakes up to her child dead. Now, she merely just calls the police exactly. Police do come with paramedics and police officers. Now then, they do not charge. What the hell is that? Okay, good. They do not charge Inko for death exactly or murder because she did not cause his murder at all. In fact, they scanned it exactly, check C, and it was actually him killing himself. So he would chalk it up to a suicide. Now then, now immediately the police officer chief says that she needs to get better exactly. By giving her a card and telling her that she can call this place to get help with this addiction you have with beer. Now then. He, she just says okay then. She's just crying exactly though. Now then. Now. She does keep all of Deku's things still in his room. Now. Now then. Bakugo does hear the news from Inko exactly. Mostly his childhood friend just killed himself. Now then, Bakugo did hear this and cry exactly. He's so mad at himself. He could have been nicer to Deku at least. Or tried to be nice. He's just talking up to himself exactly. If he never existed though, then this would never happen. If I stopped bullying Deku though, he wouldn't be dead right now. Now then. Now. The next day at the end of the school year, they do, well... The teacher tells them this. You guys must have heard the rumors and stuff that Zuko Midori is dead. They say, wait, what? And saying that, yes, he's dead. Now then, he tells him that, well, mostly, well, he's dead, exactly. It was chalked up to a suicide, exactly, on the news. But you know how the news does, though. They always try to put in their political beliefs, though. They had told his mother, a terrible mother, exactly. And, eh, here and there. As Emily Bakugo just yells at the teacher, telling... Him that he should not be talking about his dead friend's mother exactly like that. Now then, the teacher tells him that he can just, well, go to the principal's office exactly, yelling at me. And he says, fine. You'll be hearing mostly what my mother says is about, mostly my mother says about you exactly. Saying that you're talking about a dead, well, woman's kid that just chalked up to a suicide. My childhood friend's dead thanks to, well, everybody, even me. If I wasn't a piece of shit human... He would might have been still alive at least. As he just gets all his stuff and just goes to the front office. Now, the front office asks him what the hell he did. He explains to them that while well, the teacher was talking shit about his, well, dead friend's mother. Now then, they did hear this exactly. Now, they know Bakugo sometimes gets Chaco to hear for good reasons. But this time, it actually sounds like a general good reason to yell at a teacher. Now then, the funeral is actually for today for Zuko Midoriya. Now, his mother actually was going to get him out of school exactly and just going to take him to the funeral. Now then, Emily, well, Baku's mother gets called up to the school. She says, what the heck happened now, Baku? And, well, Baku just tells them that, well, the stupid teacher in my class exactly made fun of Inko exactly, saying that she was a terrible mother. Now then, Milly, Baku's mother, says what? And saying that, yeah, mostly he was talking shit about Inko exactly. 
and he didn't have the respect to all just saying that ain't shit exactly. In fact, he was just talking mad shit about her. Now then, she just says that's okay. I understand you're going through griefing, Bako. It's of my childhood friend, Inko, is dealing with all this shit too, and your childhood friend that you bullied a lot, but still, it isn't your fault. And she just signed out Bako from this exactly. Now then, they do get ready for the funeral for Azuka Midoriya. Now then. Now, Green was in their class exactly, and she never knew Azuka Midoriya was dead. She actually loved him exactly, but she never knew how to say it to his face. Now, and she did not want to get bullied herself. In fact, well, she knew that if she did get bullied exactly though, then, well, Deku would get bullied more. And she does not want that to happen to Deku. Now then, after the funeral is over and everyone says their things exactly, Inko gets to say her last things about her, his, her child exactly. She says all these things about herself exactly, saying that if I was actually a better parent though, this would never happen. And she tells everyone in the crowd exactly that, well, wants to be at the funeral exactly, any of Bakugo's, well, family members that were there too that actually knew Deku exactly, and well, our people that were Deku's, not friends but classmates exactly were there. She just says that, if you are, well, like me exactly, just don't be a terrible parent. And she just, just cries exactly, says, Zuku, I could have been better exactly. And, well, Baku's mother had to help her get off the stage exactly. Now then, Baku's friends hate Deku. They don't give a shit about him. They don't care if his mother's an alcohol abuser or some bullshit though. Now then, his friends thought of the brilliant idea to disrespect Baku, I mean, Deku's graves exactly. Now then. Now. It is the middle of the night exactly, and Bakugo's two friends snuck out. Now. They were going to disrespect Deku's grave exactly, spitting on it and spray painting it, saying that shitty nerd, Corkle's the loser and all this shit. Now then, they did hear some weird growling exactly from somewhere, and says, what the hell is that? He said, I don't know. He says, oh, should we continue on doing it? Say, fuck yeah. Now they continue on doing this to different different graves before they see a hole. Mostly in Deku's grave. Say that what the fuck? As he sees his other friend's brains well as he just sees his dead hus on the ground exactly. His brain his brain's been ripped out. The guy with the cork that allows him to fly in the air. And this guy has the cork that allows him to stretch out his fingers exactly. As he just sees a Zuka rotten in flesh exactly. Now then Immediately, Deku just grabs his head exactly and rips off. Grabbing, well, just going through his skull exactly and biting it off. As he just gets to his brain and rips out and eats it. He now has their both quirks. Now then. Green thought to, well, pay respects to Deku exactly. Now then, all four was there at the funeral too, but, I mean, two as his disguise exactly, and some pro heroes were there too. Now then. Now. Deku just gets out of the graveyard exactly, trying to find some new people to eat exactly, to gain their quirks, to get stronger. Now then. Now, those two people that he did eat their brains from do not turn to zombies. He just has to bite them, that's it. If he rips out their brains, they cannot become zombies. Now then. Now. He's just walking around town exactly at night. Not that many people out there. He's just been eating people that do not have quirks at all. Now then. Now then, he's trying to find people with quirks, as he just sees, well, Green, and her dad, fighting some villains exactly, in Shigaraki 2. Now then, Emily Green says, what the hell is that? And they look at, well, the dead hus of Deku, or at least his corpse exactly, moving around. He's saying that, what, who in their fucking right mind would do that? And Shigaraki says that, well, there's a fucked up, there's a lot of fucked up people in the world, Green. Saying that whoever's controlling this kid's body exactly, should we blow him up exactly? And she says no, actually. As she goes by to Deku, mostly goes by the mostly zombie Deku exactly, and zombie Deku immediately punches her in the face. Now that she does go into a wall. Now that Shigaraki says, oh, he's on now. As immediately Deku sprouts wings exactly and flies in the air. Green just says, what the hell? And Shigaraki helps her up. Saying that you might be so glad you have all those quirks exactly, I bet you would be dead from that. And she says, yeah, I actually would. 
Now, all of one says that, huh, so he's a zombie? And she says that, okay, dad, I understand he's dead and stuff, no stuff, but still. Well, I don't know if he's a zombie or somebody's just copying him. Now, she just called Kirigiri to send Shigaraki back as her dad and her just ex ex mostly follow deck around the city. Checks in what the heck is he doing. It seems like he's eating braids exactly. Now. Now then. Deku does eat a person that has a quirk called fear. Allows him to make fear gas clouds exactly. Now then. Each time when Deku would open his mouth. Immediately fear gas immediately forms exactly. Now. This will be a big problem later through the series when Deku does use this quirk. Now this is a full villain series. Now then. Now. Now then. Green just says that, huh, so he is a zombie. And all one says, yeah. Then that's, wait. I really don't want to get by that thing exactly. I don't want to turn into a zombie. She just says, fine, Dad. I'll check see what the hell is he doing. Continue on. Now. He says, fine. Just see now, call that doctor exactly and get mostly a place where you can get him exactly. Now then. Deku just sees Green exactly. Now, she's just saying, okay, hey, Midoriya. And... He just sees her, as he just runs up to her and tries to attack her, but she uses her quirk to go invisible and Deku does not see her, trying to figure out where the hell he, she went exactly. He actually gets his hand exactly scratch his head, trying to figure out where the hell is she. She's thinking, huh, that's weird, as Deku hears her, right behind her, I meant right behind him, as she just uses a quirk exactly. This quirk allows, well, her to turn anything into a marble. And she turns Deku into a marble exactly, saying that, huh. Now, this quirk does not last forever. It only lasts her for five minutes. She calls her dad exactly and tells, well, tells her dad to pass the phone to Kirigiri. Now then, Kirigiri says, yeah, where the heck you want, where the heck you want to go now exactly? She just says that, I want you to open a warp gate to, well, the place where the, well, gnomes are created at. And he does. Now, she walks through exactly and, well, tells the doctor that you won't believe me, but this is one of my dead classmates, zombie husk corpse, exactly reanimated. And he says, wait, so let me get this right. You brought back one of your classmates that committed suicide. That his mother's an alcoholic and his best friend even said to himself that, well, or technically former best friend because he's technically dead, that this is a zombie. And you brought him back to life. Saying that, okay, first thing. Why the fuck do you guys think I brought him back to life? Second thing, I didn't. Mostly, I can chalk it up to him or something or some divine invention or bullshit, though. Bring him back to life. Now then, I was going to make this Deku like, mostly, he was going to get shocked by lightning or something, but that didn't make sense at all. Now then, she merely just passed the marble, t marble to the doctor exactly and tells him to just put him in a cage before my quirk wears off from that thing. Now then, he does. Mostly puts him in a glass prison, exactly. Now then. It's mostly like a glass, mostly like a gas chamber, exactly, but different. Now then. The cork wears off, and he just sees Green and, well, this doctor. He really is trying to break the glass, but he cannot. He's just continuously doing that, exactly. Now then. She says, ugh, what dumbass way I would do this to my friend, or at least my friend, exactly. Emily. Well, the doctor says, why the heck you just don't use your, well, your intelligence quirk on this thing? And saying that, let me, let me explain. This thing eats off of brains exactly. It seems that it actually be quiet, so, mostly bees. It just shuts up when it just eats brains, though. He says, really, now? He has some spare brains around there with no quirks in them. Now then, he merely just has a tube system connected to the glass chamber. As he just, well, the thing sucks it in, though, and Amelia's brain is in there where Deku is. He only grabs it and eats it, though. Just saying that exactly, idiot. He's saying, huh, it acts like a gnome, exactly. Just killing and killing. But mostly the last command was to kill everything, exactly. She said, yeah, but didn't seem like those husks exactly killed, exactly, were, well, back to life. He says, huh, so let me get to right. This thing rips out the brains of its victims, and they don't turn to zombies. She says, yes. Seeing that when this thing is asleep or something, though, we can play a shot caller on it. Check C. He says fine. As she just does one thing only. 
She uses a quirk like one millions or millions quirk exactly. Allows her to phase through that glass exactly and use an invisibility quirk. And she makes a shot clock exactly, putting it around Deku's neck. As she phases out the glass and she says good. Now then. Now she says good. Now. He tells the doctor that she or he has what, a few hours before she comes back exactly. Because I'm way too tired for this. <sighs> now then. Now. The doctor says fine. I'll be doing tests with this thing exactly. Now. The next day does come. Now. There have been 20 sightings of these weird monsters, or at least, well, dead people coming back to life. In fact, Deku did bite a few of his victims, only five of them. Now then, the police officers did destroy all these weird husks, exactly, of these reanimated people. They chalk it up to some villainous quirk, exactly. Somebody using their villain quirk, exactly, to bring them back to life, or they're missing their brain, and it's weird. Now then, now then, Inko does go to Deku's grave, grave exactly, and checks to see how his grave is. She just sees it's mostly mutilated exactly. Mostly people been like throwing stuff at it, spray painting at it, seeing quirkless loser stuff. And she just cleans it up exactly. And she just sees that his coffin's open, with dirt still out, and she just cries. As she just calls the police exactly. The police ask her what the heck's wrong, Inko. And she says what's wrong and saying, look, and they immediately see Deku's coffin well open open exactly. With some some stuff on his coffin saying Quarkless Loser, die you shitty nerd and stuff. No then he says, the fuck? And well he says that well we'll get on it, Inko. I understand that you're still grieving stuff, but still. Please just don't do anything crazy. And she says I won't. Now then now, if I had to say, Deku would be a great lantern for the dead, most of the lanterns of death. Exactly. Most of you guys do not know, there are two elemental spectrums that really don't count, but they do, it's weird. Now then. Let's continue on. Now. <sighs> now, Green does wake up and ask her, you need to open a work gate to the doctor's, well, no move facility area. And he does. Kirigi tells her that she's coming back to give them this base though, because I'm not opening any more warp gates for today. She just says fine, as she just walks through it then, and the warp gate does close. Now, the doctor has been experimenting with Deck exactly, checks him, does he feel any pain? He does not actually, those shocks do nothing to him. Now, he sees that well, the more quirks you give him, the more powerful he is. In fact, well, he had changed to use his own quirk repair to increase the, well, density of the glass. So yeah. And well, he did eat through a lot of their brain, their, well, brain supplies of, well, brains exactly. He ate, well, 25% of their, well, brain stocks exactly. Stocks! Absolutely flawless! Now then, Green just has a, mostly a cup of coffee saying that, Doctor, what the hell is happening now? He says, okay, I saved up the entire night living's plate. This thing does not feel any pain. It eats more brains to gain quarks. So let's check to see. It doesn't have to smell or taste. It just sees. Now then, she says, really? Now. She just says, give me a second. As she just faces the glass exactly and, well, gives Deku an intelligence quirk and regeneration quirk. Now, this does not fix him, technically. Deku's skin is still pale exactly like that. Now, she says that the regeneration quirk in the, well, our quirk should be kicking in. Now then, she just says, huh, it's not kicking in for some reason. Saying, yeah, because he eats brains for a while getting quirks. And she says, huh, that's weird. But the quirks are doing something, but it's taking the quirks longer, because Deku's technically dead. Now, he tells the doctor that he needs to get some sleep, exactly. He does, actually. Now, she does get some sleep, too, because she did, well... Almost stayed the entire night up. Now, let's get to the Zuka Minoria. Now, his now, he's actually not killing anybody exactly. He's trying to figure out why the fuck is he in this cage exactly. This glass cage. Now, he just sees that there's a tube system exactly. He says, wait, shouldn't I be dead? There's no fucking afterlife? Bullshit. 
and he's just cussing himself out, saying that I killed myself for nothing and came back as a a zombie. He just remembers that Bakugo, well, a uh, fake Bakugo actually told him to jump off the roof and die. He's mad at Bakugo for some reason. Now. Now, the, now, you guys can't say this could be a hero or a villain, what if. But I think it could be a villain. But I really do want to make a hero, so I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. Now. Now then. Deku just sees the tube that 12 the doctor just shoves brain into it brains into and it just spits them out. Now the thing is what well, the size of a person exactly. Mostly a grown adult. And he says, huh, that's weird. And he says, wait, if I'm a zombie, that means then he really rips off his limbs exactly. Shit, that hurt. And he just throws all of his body parts through there exactly. As he just reforces himself. Now he just says, Good. Now you need to figure out a way to escape this place. As he just looking around, seeing no moves in these well well glass floating tube test tubes exactly. Now then, Deku can't feel pain now. Now then, Green does wake up and see that, well, the zombie has escaped exactly. Now, she really wakes up the doctor and tells him that if he cannot find the stupid zombie, that, well, he's going to turn him into a Nomu. Now, they're looking around the lab and Deku does hear people moving. Now, he's just thinking of being quiet and trying to hide somewhere, and he does. He hides behind some crates exactly. She just says, where the heck are you, Deku? Come on, I'm trying to find you. Well, see, I do love you exactly, though, and stuff. Even if you're a dead husk or something. Now, Deku does see her saying that, wait, that's green. Now, she does look back, and she did not see him at all. Now, Deku says that, wait, I can knock her off something. Now, green does use her cork to try to find him, exactly. Now, this cork allows her to check how many people are in the area. Immediately, the cork is telling her that there are three people in the area. Now, it is immediately pointing at her and the doctor and pointing at a new person, Deku. She just says, huh, finally I can go find you, zombie. And she actually does, finding Deku behind Crete, saying that I found you. Immediately, Deku says, please don't hurt me and stuff. And she just says, hurt you? And saying that I'm not going to hurt you. And he just says, yeah, you are exactly, because I'm, well, a zombie, exactly. And you have all these weird... Mutated people exactly say that first thing they're no boost. Second thing, you're a zombie. And he says, I know. And he say that who do you think brought you back to life anyway? He's saying I don't fuck you know, I just kill myself and a few hours or technically a minute later, I just woke up in that stupid glass container, pointing at it. Now then the doctor does see them talking, say that oh you found them? No then Deku just tells them that okay, what the fuck's happening and stuff. She just says, let me explain. You've killed, well, 20 people, actually. And she just shows a news report, exactly. <laughs> oh, shit, I might be getting corona. Oh, shit. Shadow, you're getting corona. Fuck. Sorry, just had to say that, because, well, I have to make jokes about coronavirus, too. I mean, we can't... It's not fair we can make fun, well... We need to stop this anti-white movie or something to kill all white people. The fuck? All my friends are white. The fuck, dude, except Malik and some other people. So, yeah, the fuck, dude. Now, the technology from my perspective, technology, though, the fuck. Let's continue on. Now, <sighs> after this video, actually, I'm going to do a break, a break exactly. Two days, I'm not going to upload at all. I actually want to take a break from YouTube for a while. So, I can just sleep, though, and stuff. Now, now, if you see this video, that's going to be the last video I'm going to post for two days. Or at least a day or something. At least half of a day or something. Now, I hope you guys do understand that. Because YouTube is stressful a little bit. Though I have to, like, make a timeline where I'm going to do next, next, and next. Now, let's continue on. Now, absolutely flawless. Now then, let's continue on. Now, Green just tells Deku that... She's going to help you exactly. Saying that, well, I actually helped you from not becoming crazy at all. Saying that you're actually a crazy zombie exactly trying to kill me and doctor exactly. Pointing at him. Says that, oh, Eggman over there? He just says, first thing, that's offensive. It says, sorry, at least. Now, Deku says, wait. So, I'm a zombie? Saying that, yes, you are, dumbass. He says, that means then, well, great. 
Wait, that means I can't eat. I can't sleep at all. I mean, I do feel a little tired, but still hungry, exactly. But it's still weird. Wait, I can just go to my mother. And she says, stop right there and say, you can't go back to your mother at all. Say that, why not? See now, let me explain. First thing, when your mother and the hero society accept you as the actually as well the hero exactly. See that zombie as a hero. So just think that you'll just eat their brain exactly or try to bite them to turn them into a zombie exactly. No, Deku does take this over saying that fine. See now so what do you want to do with me exactly? She says actually really nothing exactly, except just doing this. She just gives him a quirk that lets him the crate close exactly. And he does. He only had well, his shorts exactly. Or at least pants. Now, he did create a new costume exactly. Now. Let me show you the costume. And let me show you. Now, this is the costume Deku actually has though. Now. Now then. She says good. Because I really did not want to see your, well, abs exactly. He says yeah. Now. Millie's arm falls off and says that great. I actually have to reattach that. As he well, grab, grabs it and just snaps it together and says that shit, that does hurt. And she says, really, now you can actually feel pain? And saying, yeah. As he tries to scratch his neck exactly to think, but he feels a metal plane through his neck. He says, what the hell is this? And saying that, oh, it's just, well, it was a shot car exactly to, well, check see the doctor, well, check see if you can feel pain in the zombie form exactly. See that, huh? So could you take it off? And she says, sure. As she uses one of her quick exactly, called lockpick. Now, now, this thing did have key where where you supposed to just shove a key exactly and just turn it exactly, and she just well picked the lock exactly, and Deku just takes this thing off. It says thanks. Now, let's check see the time. Now I think this is a good part to end off here. Now. This is a this has been the Shadow Master, and well, goodbye.